Many people teach that debt is bad or evil. They preach that it is smart to pay off your debt and to stay out of debt. And to an extent, they are right. There is good debt and bad debt. It is wise to pay off bad debt or not get into it in the first place. Simply said, bad debt takes money out of your pocket and good debt puts money into your pocket. A credit card is often bad debt because people use it to buy depreciating items like big screen TVs, cars and vacations. Conversely, a loan for an investment property there to rent out can be good debt if the asset's cash flow covers the debt payment and puts some money into your pocket. The people who preach the evils of debt do not understand that debt is essential to the American economy. Whether that is good or bad is debatable. But what is not debatable is that without debt our entire economy would collapse. Our entire economy is based on steady inflation and the way in which we increase that inflation is through debt. Unfortunately, the way the rich use debt and the way the poor and middle classes use debt are vastly different. Firstly, I'll begin by explaining how the poor use debt. As mentioned earlier, the poor and the middle class use debt to generally buy liabilities like a car or a vacation. Here are some examples of how poor people use debt. Bad debt 1. High interest credit cards. Bankrate.com reports that average credit card interest rates are in the low 17% range. Beyond that, credit cards often have high hidden rates that can cost you hundreds of dollars for things like late fees, annual fees and currency exchange rates. Credit cards are neither good or bad in and of themselves. It's how you use them. Unfortunately, the poor often use credit cards in the worst way by buying liabilities like televisions and vacations only to pay the minimum payment each month. By doing this, they pay substantial amounts of interest over long periods of time for goods that lose value. Bad debt 2. Loans for liabilities. There are lots of loans out there that you can get for liabilities. From car loans to personal loans to payday loans, you can find a way to take on more debt often at a high price. They also pull out loans for things they consider to be investments, such as their own personal home. But a house is not an asset. Why? Because the very simple definition of an asset is that it puts money into your pocket and a liability takes money out of your pocket. This method of using bad debt to attain things that generally lose value over time keeps most people financially enslaved to debt for most of their lives. And when they do finally decide to get off the drug of bad debt, they often spend years working harder and harder to pay it off. It's a lot of lost time and opportunity. How to use debt like the rich? The rich use good debt to grow their worth and they invest in cash flowing assets using other people's money also known as OPM of both the banks and investors. OPM is a fundamental concept of rich debt and a sign of high financial intelligence. By using both good debt and OPM, you can dramatically increase your return on investment that is ROI and you can even achieve infinite returns. Good debt is a type of OPM. The downside to debt is that you can generally only borrow a certain percentage of an asset's purchase price that is generally around 70 to 80 percent of the purchase price. Because of this, you have two choices when you find a worthy investment. Use your own money or use other people's money. Provided you structure the deal well, the more you can use other people's money, the higher your return will be. Many people think that it's a fantasy world that people would just give you money to invest, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The reality is that most people don't have time to find good deals. Instead, they rely on people with the proper financial education, skill set and drive to bring deals to them. Now let's understand how to use debt to buy real estate and create wealth. Here's an example from real estate on how the rich use good debt as money to create wealth. Using the bank to leverage your investments, you can leverage your money. Using simple math, let's assume you have $100,000 and are looking to invest it 
in a $100,000 property that rents for around $800 per month. You can find many properties like this if you look diligently. You could use all your money to purchase one property for $100,000 or you could use good debt to buy $500,000 properties. The bank would lend you $80,000 for each property and you could divide your $100,000 into 5 $20,000 down payments. At 5% interest, the payment on the loans would be around $500 including all taxes and insurance. So your cash flow on each property would be approximately $300 a month. As you are paying $800 in rent minus $500 in your debt payment which equals to $300 per month. And you will get these $300 per month from a total of 5 properties which equals to a total sum of $1500 per month which is an 18% annual return. So now you must have understood the power of debt. Always continue to increase your financial education, work hard and master the fundamentals of good debt and opium and you will become wealthy. If you found this video informative then make sure to press the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you can receive notifications for our upcoming videos on money saving and investing. Thank you very much.